YouTube, what's up, man? This is Weekend League Gameplay. This is actually uh, my Mutt team. I've been messing around with Sire Cap, so a lot of my players aren't fully powered up. I'll have the base Sean Taylor. As you saw there, I had the base Julio Jones. Uh, just got playmakers on my wide receivers. None of my players really have red chems on this Weekend League game. This is against a guy, a fella named Trump's America. So I don't know who that is or why Muzzy's going. So it definitely had the chat really into this game and if you want to be in the chat obviously when i play these games hit that twitch link below you can check out where i stream these games live all the support throughout the uh, man streams has been really good lately and the support on these gameplay videos is through the roof so if you haven't already please hit that like button obviously most of you guys are probably subscribed already but if not please hit that button and uh this game he started out running a lot of uh tight offset a lot of tight formation and uh, I play that a little bit differently. I know that he's in uh, Green Bay or he's in uh, New Orleans, which I actually have an ebook out and I'm running right now. This game, I'm running New Orleans. And uh, he's running a lot of tight offset. Here he goes, trying to throw a deep pass right there. Julio Jones does not come up with it. He had one play out of this five wide with a drag, a slant, and something else. But as you see, he's going for these high passes or these deep uh, the deep crossers in some route cam. I don't know if it's deep route running. I don't know if it's uh, elite route running. Whatever it may be as I try to throw a playmaker. But I stopped him on the first drive. But you can see that's what he wants to go to. Two deep crossers out of this tight formation. And I see a lot of people ask me. That's one of the main questions I get in man as I fumble with Michael Vick. But Brandon Brooks, Eagles legend, dives on the football. A lot of questions I get is how do you stop two crossers? And here I throw the ball right at him. When I run that setup, I run that play a lot. Most people will not carry that crossing route all the way across the field. He did, and because he carried that crossing route all the way across the field, he got a pick because of it, man. And and one thing you realize when you're lurking, man, sometimes you need as he throws over my face. What amazing laser and Julio Jones holds on to it. But one thing you realize when you're lurking, sometimes it's no point even getting off. Well, you're on here, he goes with another route cam, another uh, route cam to the running back. So he's got a lot of route cam, so it's not going to be the standard plays that everybody's used to. And the fall forward animation comes in big this game. But like I said, when you're lurking, as Todd Gurley takes the edge, though, when you're lurking, sometimes you, it's not even worth coming off the, uh, the route you're guarding because you can't really come off the route and go all the way across the field to cover something else anyway. You might as well take away the first read and then hope they still throw it like I did against this guy on my first possession thinking i just assumed that he would eventually come off that route and he never did do it right at him and I, I got an interception because of it so now i'm going to try to stay away from his user he showed me he has a little bit of patience as calvin johnson fights through a whole army over there for no extra yards uh this guy ran a pretty good defense honestly and there i went for a high ball curl and uh vic overdo it but he ran a, a decent defense a lot of cover two he sent a little bit of pressure a lot of match coverage you can see Deion sanders staying with calvin johnson right there he really mixed up his defense really well. It kept me off the balance. Here I go playmaker in the tight end up. I know he has to guard him, so if I playmaker him, he will run with it. Leaving the scramble open. That's a good job. And here we go, hitting the flat. Hit it a little bit late there. Did not get any yards, man. I want to take my flats. One thing I did notice late in the game, he was going to a lot of deep zones, deep everywhere. And for some reason, Julio Jones, I believe that's who's in my slot, did not come up with this. Home one for seven passing right now. Next play, we get sacked. I'm really getting bagged right now. We get it to a fourth and 20. I'm going to go ahead and punt to this kid, and he gets a roughing the kicker. Now, we talked about this on the podcast. Check out the podcast on Tuesdays. Do you accept penalties? Absolutely, you accept that because he did it himself. Like, he ran into my kicker. Nobody asked him. to. You know, the computer didn't do that. As I hit the ball underneath, next play, we get a short yardage right here, a second down. Try to hit the flat, and my flat running back bumps into a blitzer, slows him down just enough for me to get lurked. Thank God he stumbled on the grass, which is something that's crazy and mad this year. Every time you catch a pick, I swear you stumble on something. This is one of the plays that made me, oh, I didn't like that. He was rolling to his right with Vic. As I told you guys, man, these two deep crossers. And as you see, I'm running just rushing four, rushing three. And he's going to have time to run these two deep crossers. So one thing that, I, like I said, a lot of people ask me, how do you stop two deep crossing routes? Uh, and I want to switch it up in the second half. I think I'm going to go to a little more pressure-based a little more pressure-based defense, especially against tight. I like to not base a line, have all, everybody up there in the slot. I'm going for a high ball over here to Moss. He's putting his outside corners in quarters. But like I said, when people run tight, I like to not base a line as I hit a playmaker right there, then throw the ball on the crossing route to who Jones stays in bounds. But it's going to be the two-minute warning anyway. Another playmaker, Randy Moss, throw the ball underneath. He, of course, dot is the only man to break tackles for a loss of seven yards. 
But yeah, I'll show you guys an example of how I play tight. Uh, either either I'll base a line or, or I won't. And he gets some fluky pressure right there from Reggie White. I think he's running mid D tackle. And um, throwing a comeback route over here to Calvin Johnson. Got to get some points before half. Would be great to get a touchdown. But I do get the ball to have. So any points right here would be cool. Hit the little drag over the middle. Randy Moss. He misses a hit stick. So now we're, we're getting inside the 30 right now. Time is not a factor. Still have all three timeouts. Throw the ball underneath to Vern. That's Vernon Davis. I believe a 62 cap tight end. I don't think it's the best Vernon Davis. We're definitely not the combine Vernon Davis. But it's a good one. Hit the little curl right here to Randy Moss. Hold wide and come back and get the ball, man. It's something you have to do. Ricky Williams, the fall forward animation, just carries Lawrence Taylor in the end zone. So that's my seven points. Feeling good. We get ball to half. I've thrown two picks. Played pretty shitty on offense so far, but I'm still tied. Still get the ball at half. All I got to do is stop him from scoring right here. That's a big deal. So the first play, I'm still rushing three. They're not fighting right there, and he hits this deep crossing route. Bang. Big play right there. Gets about 30 yards. Next play, he runs. Of course, Pat Pete, I don't mind him missing his stick, but Cam Chancellor missed one, and then we just outrun an auto hurdle. Lawrence Taylor, wow, this run was crazy before half to give him seven. Let's look at it again. Of course, he bounces off Pat Pete to bounce off Cam Chancellor, too. And then auto hurdle Lawrence Taylor. Oh, that's brutal giving up that touchdown. But I still have 13 seconds left, man. Still have a chance to do something. Going to hit the little playmaker here. He goes and covers it. Hit the crossing route. Got to get out of bounds. Seven seconds left. I thought I had enough time to hit another crossing route. Four, three, two, one. And I just can't get out of bounds. The clock is going to expire on me. Frustrating. I, I had seven seconds of the snap of the ball. Thought I could get out of bounds. First play of the second half, going to dump it underneath here to Vernon. He gets absolutely killed. You know somebody has a good team when every time a tackle happens, five different red lights blink on. And that's what happened when Vernon got tackled right there. And he gets hit stick the next play. So, man, you got to be careful about giving Vernon the ball back again. But what do I do? I throw it him again. That's three straight plays Vernon Davis has caught the ball. Definitely got to give him a breather. He's going to cover him this time, and I'm able to hit this crossing route over the top to Calvin Megatron Johnson. Bounces off a hit stick from Jamal Adams inside the 15. I'm going to pop a little run right here. Ricky Williams carry him for an extra three. Second and six. Throw it underneath the Ricky truck stick. Run through somebody. The rest of his team stops, and that's a touchdown. They just didn't want any parts of Ricky Williams on that play. Tie ball game. This is why they watch. We fight back. We tie the game up. Got to keep playing defense. This is his one play he runs in this set. This deep post route, and we see Ramsey get in there and getting his hands on the ball, knocking it away. Then the next play, he pops a little run. Sean Taylor, good job strafing and not getting spun moved right there. Uh, third and two, throws it underneath, and Kittle somehow holds onto the ball as Jalen Ramsey just kills him. Right now, he's just going to try to run the ball, let this fall forward animation, give him some yards. There it is again. Should have got nothing. Got one yard out of that. And I see this is the first uh, drive where I'm going to go no baseline. So all my corners are right, kind of right over top of the wide receivers. And I'm going to send a lot of pressure at him. He's just spun move my user in the A-gap. As you see, just running here, Lawrence Taylor falls forward, picks up another two yards. Gets to a third and four. He goes for a pass, dumps it over to Kittle, trucks one person, fall forwards again. 26-yard line, another run right here, falls forward again for two yards. Get to the second and six. Like I said, I sent everybody right there and get the sack. That's huge. That saved me a big deal right there. Third and 17. He gets sacked again, almost out of field goal range. One thing I talked about, man, I think these 55 or even 50-plus yard field goals are way too easy, man. If you guys agree with the field goals are way too easy and Madden, please comment below. Let me know that you agree with that. I wish they were a little bit harder, especially 50 yards plus. But now I had a game where I want. I think this is a little match coverage. Uh, Jamal Adams kind of stayed with Randy Moss. I wish I would have got an animation there. Get to a second and 10. Uh, I go up for the crossing route, and Vic throws it to the ground. That's frustrating. Get to a third and 10. Going to run a little play action. Reggie White again sacks me. Gets me to a fourth and 22. And obviously you say punt this, but I'm down by three. If I punt the ball, that's going to give him the whole field to go ahead and try to get one first down and I lose. You absolutely, 1,000%, you have to go for this every situation. Because even if you don't get it, he has a shorter field, and you can try to stop him and hold him to another three, then you'll need a, a, a touchdown to win. But I go ahead with a smart route of in route and a crossing route. He's got to cover the crossing route. We hit that backside in route, hopefully get down. The fall forward animation allowed me to not get hit right there, and we pick up the first down. But like I said, as we hit the crossing route over the middle, if you do not 
get that first down. Now he's got a short field. It's going to be easier to stop him. Huge tackle by Peppers right there to keep me out of field goal range or keep me from a touchdown, really. Crossing route, uh, Calvin Johnson can't hold on to that one. That's, that would have been a tough catch. Third down, we're going to dump underneath the Vernon. Huge play right there by, uh, it looks like Cam Chancellor of his own making a play right there, and I have to settle for the three. Bang! Tie ball game. 28 seconds left. I don't know if I want to play this super aggressive or super basic. Those are underneath. Of course, Jamal Adams absolutely kills Kittle. Next play, same thing. Those underneath tackle Kittle, and he calls timeout. Got to get off the field. He goes to his one play that he runs out of this set. Underneath, tackle, Kittle. I wouldn't want to give up the big slant or the big post. Gave him the underneath. First down. Next play, same formation. He switched the play up, and Cam Chancellor picks off that deep crossing route. Doesn't stumble. Thank God. I don't know how I didn't stumble there, but got to get out of bounds before the time runs out. Three seconds left in the game. But, you know, I can get an ice field goal, man. Like I said, if a guy like me cares about ice, then I need to give up playing Madden. Ice is never a big deal. Just have confidence in it. Don't worry about it. Don't let it get into your head. Let the kick go. And you know that's right down the middle with the Eagles linebacker, Gruger Hill. Bang, that's the ball game. That's a win, man. So definitely didn't play that great. I thought I was pretty bad in the first half, but definitely took took the, took what I had there in the second half and was able to go ahead and get a victory. Like I said, man. Sometimes when I play tight, I play baseline. Other times, I'll put everybody in the box, and I'll really blitz everybody and really try to get the ball out of their hands fast. Tight can be a problem, especially with all these new route cams. But like I said, just just don't baseline. Send every corner off the edge. Send six and seven people at them, and they'll definitely make a mistake. As you saw, he fired a lot of those flat passes right into my flat zone, and that's pretty much what you want to do when people run tight, man. Just send a lot of pressure at them. Make them make a read in a heartbeat, and most people aren't good enough to do that. You know, like I said, Please hit the like button. Please comment. Let me know what you guys think.